Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to Test Drive Unlimited. Hanging out. Oh, look at this again. Oh, let's turn the wheels. Oh, it's so elegant. <laughs> yeah, I'm just chilling up here by the uh, observatory, which is next to the uh, the <laughs> the Wyanayanayanay Haven of Peace. So, continuing. Uh, this is motorcycle, yes. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. <laughs> Audi, here we go. Uh, okay, Audi. Uh, I don't think we have an Audi. No, it's like right here somewhere. Yeah. Bam. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed at the uh, Audis in this game. They really don't have any good ones. I think the best thing that they have is an S4 in this game. Yeah, the S4 Cabriolet E Class. <laughs> no rim selection. <clears throat> that uh, that red was pretty nice. Ooh, that blue is pretty nice too. Mm, I kind of like that. With a white interior, you guys. Ooh, Ooh. white and blue. Oh yeah. Ugh, look at those white leather seats. Ugh. Damn, does that ever start fast? <laughs> Clicky. <laughs> I guess it's a push button start. Uh, oh no, no. <clears throat> oh well, at least it doesn't start the event when you go to a white dot. It just brings you to the location. Gotta go get to. Uh, let me, let me, let me upgrade you, baby. Chick a chick, pop. Chick a pop, pop, pop. <laughs> oh, I just finished playing Legend of Dragoon for like uh, two hours. <laughs> so my, uh, my talking might be a little bit, uh, blah, 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 you know what I mean? Because it's a whole lot of reading, man, jeez. People, uh, people, I guess, kind of, uh, don't really realize what it takes to actually sit there and, uh, you know, it's like, it's like reading, uh, it's like reading a story to someone while you're playing an RPG. That takes a toll on the, the old throat. The old voice. Right. Lucky you, I was about to leave. Explain <clears throat> the deal, it's not complicated. One package, one mailbox, no cops. Do it. <laughs> Jeez, you're acting... Pretty, uh, pretty suspicious there, my friend. What the hell's in these boxes? <laughs> Go! That's pretty cool how it starts, though. This Audi, it's just like, chicken. <laughs> There's some grass, like, sticking through the ground there. That's my first race in, uh... Well, like, friggin', I haven't played this game in, like, five or six days now. Because the last time I recorded this game, I recorded, like, uh... Well, I recorded, like, five episodes. Or four, I think. Yeah, I recorded five, because I double-uploaded, uh, the other day. Ugh. That would not have been good. Okay. I saw those rocks on the left, I was like, oh no. <laughs> I thought we were dead. that little camera flash again. I just saw it in the distance. I've seen that a couple of times. I'm not really sure what that is. I think it's just a little glitch or something. 
that like little camera flash in the distance. I do see it each time I play this game every once in a while. I'm not sure what it is, but... I like literally. What the hell did you guys all get? He's like, Hold on, all oh, these things are happening. That was scary, dude. That guy, like. <laughs> He's like John Connor. <laughs> He's trying to freaking kill me, man. And then I saw the other silver card just drive right into the ocean. He's like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Oh no. Oh, that's very, very uniquely placed police car. What the hell was that? Did you guys just see like a laser beam go <laughs> go past my car? I think we just caught a UFO while I'm filming you guys. <laughs> Yo, bro, I just, like, totally saw some crazy UFO or something back there. Did y'all see that shit? <laughs> 40 grand. <laughs> what was that? I think it was a bird, to be honest, or a piece of paper. There are, like, little leaves and pieces of paper and birds and, you know, there's various, uh, uh, various little things kind of floating around, you know, just to add realism to the game. What do we have here? Motorcycles. Uh, vehicle with two seats, Piotr, <clears throat> and it is a box mission, so we are going to uh, schwang over here to a house and grab up the Enza Lenzino. Uh, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, we have six and a half million dollars. <laughs> I, uh, went and made a crap ton of money off camera. Which is something that I've been, uh, waiting to do for quite some time. Uh, you can only do that race once you unlock tier five, so... <clears throat> I literally had to wait to unlock tier five in order to make, uh, a stupid amount of money like that. I mean, I could have done that $50,000 G-Class race a million times, but that takes three and a half minutes per, uh, while the other method, like the method in the video, I made that little video showing you how to make the fastest money in the game. Yeah, I just used that event. Put on some music, I uh, just sat there for like two hours. <laughs> Continuously doing that event over and over again. So yeah, we have a crap ton of money to buy a butt ton of cars, whatever car we need. Oh, I like that shirt. I definitely like that shirt. <clears throat> I would wear that shirt in real life. Solid black shirt with like a, a trace line in white, like a great white shirt. That's pretty sick, yeah. I wear a lot of black and white me. I find, well, you guys, if you guys have been a fan of the channel for a little while, you guys know that that's like my favorite combination of colors. Even though, technically, I guess, they're not really colors, black and white. They're shades, you know, everybody always says that. It's still a friggin' color to me, I don't give a shit. 
on it. Late GPS. Oh, what is happening? We're gonna have to hustle you guys. Five miles in uh, in three minutes. That guy just decided to stop in the middle of the damn highway. Don't you dare. Oh, please. I was just about to say, please move over. Heat it up. Oh, no, 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 don't turn. Huh. I'm alright with that. Oh, no, no, that really messed us up. I was hoping to just slide along there. Oh well. Oh. <laughs> huh. Wrong. Oh, there we go. I, I like this hot this highway. Oh my. <laughs> I'm okay with hitting the sign. I uh. <laughs> Yeah, I like this highway because it has uh, a pretty big shoulder on either side. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Alright, we have quite a bit of time now. A minute and 22 to travel less than a mile, so... <laughs> I love cutting through traffic in this game. I like if I really had to like narrow it down to like what game has like the coolest traffic to like filter through, I would definitely say uh, TDU takes the cake for sure. For sure. <laughs> Got that box you wanted? <laughs> Goodness. What's next, you guys? Ba -ba -bum -ba. Oh, we are conquering this game now. <sighs> okay, so those three over there are Motor Ciclo. Uh, it looks like the next event is actually this one up here, because we're going from right to left. So, the never-ending loop, you guys. 10.7 miles. A-class. 100 GZs. Will make it easy, although I'm not really liking the title of this race. Is <laughs> I really hope it's not just like a tiny little circle. All right, ten point seven miles. <laughs> Seventy one checkpoints. Oh, it is going to be a tiny little circle. Look at the map, and there's some pretty nice cars here. Basically, every single nice car in this game is in this race right now. <laughs> This real test drive right here. These cars, just a, all the best cars in the game. This is how you know you've reached the highest echelon of a test drive game. Oh god. Okay, it's not just a circle. Oh, it's gonna be a uh, uh, um, open figure eight. Yeah, open figure eight. Xbox 360 version. 
Like, you don't even have to be, like, a very good driver to win with this car. You just have to, like... How do I say it? It's like... You don't have to be, like, a pro or anything to drive this car. It is a little bit of a wacky car. But once you, like, get the hang of this car... <coughs> it is literally the best damn car. In the 360 version, that's for sure. Because I know the, uh, the PC version certainly has uh, an extensive list of various cars that you can get. Sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> I had a big, uh, I think it was a cat hair stuck to the, like, the front of my tongue. <laughs> That's why I wasn't talking there for a few seconds. I was like, God damn it. How am I supposed to get this thing out of my mouth without using one hand to do it? But then I wasn't really able to say anything, and then it was starting to distract me, so... <laughs> Kind of lost a little bit of traction there. Quite all right. Turn around. Oh no, we missed a checkpoint, you guys. Uh, glad I saw that. Actually, a pretty long race. Whoa. I like that uh, these two long corners right here. I like these. These big sweepers. Oh hell yeah! Ugh. They're so hard to master. Whoa! It's so hard to master a big long turn like that. You have to have a pretty good. Uh, whoa! You have to have a pretty good finesse on your uh, gas pedal and your turning. And look down on my map to make sure that we hit that checkpoint. Because if we have to turn around for it again like that, ooh, that'll cost us the race, for sure. actually a little bit different than the other one. They look the same on the map, like they're the same size and they appear to be the same radius and everything, but they are actually slightly different than each other in elevation. One of them has, uh, I think it's the first one, this one up here, this one right here, it has a little dip in it. Yeah. Oh no, it's, it's the second one that has the little dip. Yeah, I find that one's kind of smooth, but it goes up there. It's that little dip that I was talking about. Boop up right there, and it throws you to the outside and kind of causes you to uh, uh, lose a, a little bit of grip right there, which is why I keep uh, uh, overturning and driving into the grass on that one. Little tiny, tiny variances in the road. <laughs> have a dramatic impact on your car in this game. Which is uh, quite realistic, actually, because uh, a road that goes up or down will have a dramatic difference 
on your car's center of gravity and all that stuff. See how the first one, I just sort of drift around almost the whole thing? But then this one here, boop, you hit that little bump there, you see that? And then it always makes your car drift towards the, uh, the inside and kind of drive on the grass. Oh, we are catching some of these fellows. <laughs> Now we're fighting our way through traffic. Well, we're going to be. It's the McLaren F1 in last place. Yeah, the F1's probably having trouble with all these turns. Same thing with the Pagani. They're probably having a really hard time on these long-ass turns. Those cars are meant to, to be, you know, on an open racetrack, not <laughs> in a continuous turn. Whoa. And there is the Koenig Sig. Followed by the Lamborghini Murcielago, which is actually uh, my favorite Lamborghini of all time. I love Murcielagos, they're absolutely gorgeous. And there's the McLaren F1. You can always tell it's the McLaren F1 GTR by that big honking spoiler on the back. That leaves what? The S7... Whoa. Not sure who the last two cars would have been there. Well, the S7 and... Uh, I'm not sure what the eighth car was. But that is... That. <laughs> Whew. That was a hardcore race. <laughs> that definitely woke up my, uh, my gas pedal finger. Uh, okay, yeah, that's motorcycle Lamborghini, you guys. What are the odds that I was just saying <laughs> that a Murcielago is actually my favorite Lambo when that's what we're about to go by? Hmm. No. Uh, there she is, you guys. 280 grand. I definitely want the big boys. Ooh, look at that color. Look at that color list, you guys. Holy. That is some bright ass colors. I think we're gonna go with the, uh, like that lime green, the Verde Ithaca. That is always been my favorite color for a Murcielgo. And we're gonna go half green, half black seats. Well, thank you, Sugar Face. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Mm. 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 Oh, you guys. Oh, look at those green seats. Oh, look at those mirrors, eh, you guys? That's so sick. Oof. Oof, look at that wide view range. Wow, that's actually a pretty huge uh, view range for a Lamborghini. That's pretty wild. We got the, the rear view. Uh, the rear view is kind of off kilter of where you'd want it to be, but... Uh... Oh. Oh, my. Listen to that, you guys. And I'm just coasting along right now. Like, I'm just clutch. Clutching. Damn, that sounds so nice. Oh! Oh, it's our new Lambo, you guys. Murcielagos are my favorite Lambo. They're just such a nice shape, you know? It's like a friggin' rocket. <laughs> Is this the one? 
No. Is this on? Lamborghini time attack. This is it. Whew. Let's do this, you guys. In our brand new Mercy Elgo. Mm. 75 grand. 2 minutes, 50 seconds to travel 5.1 miles. Get my... Let's get comfortable. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go. We forgot to get it upgraded. Let's go get it upgraded so that it actually runs its its proper magic on this. If it's Lamborghini Day, it's freaking Lamborghini Day. Know what I'm saying? And I want this beast to be running at peak performance. Peak. Pretty sure that these are four-wheel drive as well. Pretty sure Mercielago is four-wheel drive. Alright, 150 grand. Oh my, 686 horsepower, you guys. 226 top speed. Wow. Quite a massive improvement, to be fair. Hmm, I wonder what it's gonna sound like now. Maybe a pretty noisy girl. finish line like that? <laughs> Still killed it though, we we were uh, we made it by uh, 26 seconds, but uh, anyway. Oh hell yeah, instant, instant ass tearing ridiculousness. Let's do a roaster out here. Let's flip it, flip it, flip it. 
Jesus. What kind of car is he in? It's a 350Z. Well, anyways, you guys, that is going to be the end of this episode here today. So I want to thank you guys so much for coming out and watching this episode of Test Drive Unlimited. If you guys want to be the coolest people on the entire planet at this moment right now, <laughs> hit that like button. Maybe even subscribe. That's the wrong way, my homie. <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Freaking love you guys. I wish you guys a total mess. Let's show this guy what's up. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. Yeah, see you later. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. So I'll be absolutely sure to have a good one, you guys. <laughs> As I drive off into the sunset. Oh, no, you don't, sir. Oh, I'm such a good driver, you guys. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you took away my statement, sir. But, yeah, man, thank you guys so much once again, and, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Bye. Bye.